Hey everybody! So I am back today with yet another Dollar Tree haul and this Dollar Tree haul is of consisting of two different shopping trips and before I keep rambling let's just go ahead and get into this video because I'm sure you guys want to know what I bought and I can't wait to show you guys what I bought so let's go ahead and get it going. So, of course, the 4th of July is coming around, so I went ahead and picked up, these are both 20 count um, pack of napkins, and this one is in the, obviously, the American flag, and it's just American flag, and then I have this one, which is more of, like, it says USA, celebrate red, white, and blue, the Star Spangled Banner, Home of the Brave, and then it has the American flag. And I have already put these out for my summer collection. This is the watermelons. And then I just have some American flags and that other print. And these ones I did not pick up at Dollar Tree. I picked these up at my store. They were doing a blowout sale of napkins and I picked those up for 75 cents and then I picked up this table skirt table cover whatever you want to call it and it is in the same print as the napkins it just says red white and blue USA so we don't get anything on our outdoor table and then I picked up some paper plates so that way I'm not doing 250 dishes because I hate doing dishes. I do dishes every night. It sucks. Paper plate style for one night out of 365 days of the year. Um, so I picked up these and then of course just the American flag. And then I picked up these charger plates. And these are a Christmas DIY, and yes, you guys are probably going, a Christmas DIY, Christmas is six months away. I know it's six months away, I like to be prepared, that's just how I am as a person. I like to be ahead of myself than falling behind, because that will aggravate me to no end. And if you guys are wondering what I'm going to be doing with these, is I'm going to be making um, a Christmas countdown and I don't want to really describe what I'm going to do because I might make a video out of it. So that's that. And then I picked up some headbands. If you're somebody like me who likes to wear headbands, then I would definitely try to get to your Dollar Tree before these are sold out because I bought these a week before I went I, my first shopping trip and then I went like two or three days later on my next shopping trip and all these were gone so these are just this brand right here and this is a stackable um, headband set and it just has the nice floral print and it's pink and black and then on the back it just has that brand symbol and then right here you have the two stackable headbands, the pink and black, to match that. And then this one I thought was really cute and cool, great for working out, just to keep your hair out of your face. And it is reversible, so you could wear it on this side, or you can do that side. Whichever you prefer, whatever you want to do. And then these two I thought were super cute just for working out. And that is these two colors. They're bright. They're fun because I can never really see myself just wearing these to like just to wear them like with an outfit. So I grabbed these just to have them for working out purposes. So that's that. And the thing that I thought was really cool about these is it says look inside and when you flip it over it has like this gel type stuff and um, to help keep your headband from sliding around so it grips onto your hair so that is cool and then I picked this one up I think she needs to go out I picked this one up it is just a nice beautiful brown with gold I don't know if the camera is picking up the gold sequence among the headband because my lighting sucks 
And then you just have this gold thing right here. You could wear it in the front, in the back, whatever way you want to rock it. So that is that. So I'll be right back. So let's go ahead and get started on the second trip. So the second trip, I picked up some gum. As you can tell, I have already gone through this package and I love Big Red. I love cinnamon gum. I don't know why. I've just always liked, I like those cinnamon candies and everything. All right, so this right here, I picked up four of these, and these are going with my DIY for my Christmas gifts that I'm giving to people, and that's these um, display easels, so that way they can set up their countdown, and they can see their countdown. So I picked up four of those, and then I picked up, this is a repeat by... I picked up three more of these just to make sure I had some toothpaste in stock. I still have three in my cabinet, and I just opened one, so I have a total of seven of these guys now. You can never have enough toothpaste, and for a dollar for a nice name brand, you just can't go wrong. So I do a lot of crafting with Dollar Tree um, flowers and stuff like that, and I broke my kitchen scissors <laughs> trying to cut the flowers off so I could arrange them in whatever I'm doing or whatever. And I saw these. I have never seen these at my Dollar Tree before. So I grabbed those and it's specifically for a wire cutter. So I'm like, awesome. And then the next thing I picked up are some eyelashes because I just used my last good set of eyelashes to meet Gene Simmons and these ones are in the brand they're lightweight easy application they're an eye eyelash kit color mate and they are in diva I picked up two of these because I really liked how full these ones looked so I grabbed two of diva and then I picked up a Wet n Wild one, and this one is, it doesn't say which one this one is. Yeah, it just says like, just gives the number up here. Maybe that's what the name of these eyelashes are. But these eyelashes just look like this. I thought this would be super fun, something different compared to something that makes your eyes look more fuller because I really really like these ones I don't know why I like my eyes especially when I wear a lot of dark makeup I like to make my eyes look really full and just dark to match my dark soul <laughs> so the next thing that I picked up is an eye mask and this is pink I just picked this up because when I lay in the bathtub, I just like to relax. I like to just put this on my face and just forget about everything that's going on in life because sometimes life can get very stressful. And then I picked up these. I've seen a lot of people hauling these, but my Dollar Tree kind of sucks from time to time. And all they had were just the notepads of these. And this is, it says, Pretty Kitty, and I really like the coloring. As soon as I saw, like, some people had, like, the notebooks, the little magnet notebooks, I was like, I have to try to find these. Our Dollar Tree had these, but they only had these. So I'm pretty sure someone went and scooped them all up. So I just picked that one up, and what I'm going to do is get a magnet and put these on my refrigerator in case, like, I need to leave my husband a note. Can you please um, scoop the cat box? Just little things just to keep up on things. And then I picked up one for our dog, Vana. So this represents Vana, and then the cat represents my cat. So this one is that one, and it says Easy Breezy. And then... We picked up Vana, another toy, because holy, this is a Chihuahua mix. She is, 
she chews on everything besides her toys. So I'm hoping this thing right here, she'll just chew on it because look how thick the centerpiece is. Chew on this. She has chewed um, my husband's cell phone charger up already. She has chewed through our door. She, and this is a Chihuahua mix. I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> so that's that. And then these two things right here, I could not resist. Even my husband was blown away by this because, and if something blows him away, you know that it's cute and it's something worth buying. We both love ice cream, but we hate dirtying a bowl to do ice cream. We hate buying ice cream cones. So as soon as we saw these, because we are big ice cream freaks, and look how deep this is. We were sold. So this one's obviously mine. This one's his. You just put your ice cream in it. You can serve it. So easy. All you got to do is, I mean, look at this. It's so easy. You just put your ice cream in it. Just put all your toppings on it, and you're good to go. You can sit on the couch, watch your favorite YouTube channel, favorite TV show, favorite movie, whatever you want to do. These are a dollar. So if if you guys see these and you guys like ice cream, I would definitely grab those. Alright, so I picked up two things that are glass related and I'm sorry, you're going to think I'm weird, but they're Halloween related. <laughs> so I picked up this, I thought it was super cute and it is a wine glass, I believe, and it says, hopefully you can see it, it says, I'm here for the booze, and then it just has a little wine bottle, and then, of course, a wine glass. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, that probably is so horrible, but let's see if this will work. There we go. That is super cute. I, so I picked this up. Um, like I said, I like to be ahead of myself for the holidays. And then I saw this. And then I picked this guy up. And this one is a little bit different. And it says, eat, drink, and be scary. And that's all it says all the way around. I like the print too. That's kind of what sold me on this was the print because it was that cute, funny Halloween. It's not like too spooky, not too anything. So we are down to the last two bags and it only has four items in it. And that is because they are books. And if you're somebody like me, I, I cook all the time because, you know, I have me and my husband and... When you just eat the same thing over and over again, it gets really old. So my mom even knows I'm like that. She even sent me something for Valentine's Day. She sent me a Publix um, recipe book. So that was cool because I just like to look through cookbooks and stuff like that. And when I found these books at the Dollar Tree, I, I had to have them because they were a dollar. I mean, I'm trying to find how much, like, some of these books tell me how much they are, but this one is 200 weekly meals, and it's recipes that are fewer than 400, 300, and 200 calories, so I thought that was cool, and plus, like I said in my previous videos, I am trying to watch what I eat. And when I found this for a dollar, and it's a thick book, and it has nice pictures and stuff in there, so that is pretty awesome for a dollar. And then my husband is obsessed with Italian-type meals, and when I saw this, he loves pasta, he loves anything pasta. He is, like... He always says, sir, I'm more of like, I would rather have a Spanish meal than 
a pasta meal. So some nights we're arguing over, let's have spaghetti. I'm like, no, let's have tacos. <laughs> so as soon as I saw this, and this one is a skinny Italian, which means that it is a good book for, um, of course, losing weight. I'm sorry, I'm being distracted. There's a big truck walk going walking, driving through my, um, and I'm trying to figure out what it is and what they're doing. So this is the Skinny Italian, and yeah, and I think this book told me how much it was. Nope, this one I couldn't find, but this one has like nice pictures and stuff like that in there. So I thought that was cool. And then I picked up this one. Now this one, I believe, tells me how much it was. Yes, this book was originally $27, and I got it for a dollar. $27.99 U.S., $31.99 Canada. And this is Jackie Collins' The Lucky Cookbook. So, a book for $27, so you save a dollar, or... $26 you save $26 and you get this book so that's that book and then I picked up this book now this book really had me blown away because this book it says $35 and higher in Canada and I got it for a dollar look how nice this is and it's a recipe book for a freaking dollar and then I was looking through, and it's got really nice recipes, nice pictures, and stuff like that. So as soon as I saw those, I was like, you know, just to make an extra different type of meal for one night, because you're so sick of eating hamburgers, hot dogs, spaghetti, tacos, whatever you make. Why not change it up for a night and for a dollar you can't beat a cookbook recipe? So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big huge thumbs up. I know at some points I was getting distracted because she needed to go out. I got a phone call. My husband tried to call me. Some truck was coming up and down the road I have never seen before. I'm trying to figure out. He's driving really slow past my house. <sighs> so that is that. I guess that's the life of filming. So if you did like this video, please give it a big huge thumbs up. And I'll see you soon in my next video. See you guys.